After leaving Bahia Concepcion, we continued north to Mulehe, a small town that ended up stealing our hearts more than any of the others on this trip. Mulehe is located in the northern area of Baja California Sur, about two hours north of Loreto, at the mouth of the Rio de Santa Rosalia. Good afternoon. We have just arrived in Mulehe. We checked into our hotel. We had a shower, feeling great, feeling ready to explore a little bit more of the town. But first, let me show you where we're staying. It's called Cliffs Place. Other signs say it's called Clementines. Uh, that's how I found it on the internet. I'll link below as always uh, so you guys can check it out. But it's great. We've got a little room here. And then there's a nice big common area. Uh, kind of like a hostel, but much nicer. <laughs> so let me show you. So you come into the courtyard here and you got a nice big table. You got a barbecue. You've got the another nice table. And like this whole covered kitchen area. It's huge. Coffee pots. Blenders. There's even coffee. The other thing that's nice is that you've got everything you need for eating and doing any cooking here. Even squeeze your own fresh OJ in the morning. There's four rooms around the kitchen and uh, it's like indoor outdoor kind of, it's so nice. Let me show you the room. Cute little bed here. You got a table. Good morning. We are on a tour today to see the cave paintings here in Mulehe. Basically, one of the main reasons, and I mean one of the main reasons, the number one reason that we came to Mulehe was to come and see these cave paintings. They are thousands of years old, uh, so I'm excited to be on a tour with this because, first of all, our little rental car is not getting down this road. Second of all, we're obviously going to learn a ton about it, so let's see. There are a few different cave paintings around Mulehe, but the nearest and most famous is called La Trinidad. It's located inside a privately owned ranch, but you can access it for 100 pesos per person. There were a few reasons why we opted to take a tour instead of trying to find the paintings for ourselves. The number one reason is that the road to get here requires a four-wheel drive, and there were almost no signposts to help you find your way. Add to that that there is no cell service, and for us, it just wasn't worth trying to navigate it on our own. The other reason I really wanted to take a tour here instead of going it alone was because I didn't really know anything about these cave paintings. I wanted to have a guide so we could learn about what we were seeing, who made these paintings, and also have local flora and fauna pointed out to us. As an added bonus, we got to hike through this steep canyon, which as recently as 2015 was filled with water. Our tour guide told us that he actually used to have to take people to the paintings on a boat. But a hurricane wiped out the waterway here, and it's now one of the driest places I've been to in Baja California Sur. The first set of paintings that we came to are the ones that you'll see if you Google La Trinidad. The large red deer is particularly well photographed, but we also carried on further into the canyon to a second location, which was in a cave we had to climb up to. We learned about the different animals that they discovered and hunted. We learned about who painted these, which were usually the shamans or priests of the tribes. We learned that they had a sort of calendar which they followed based on how many days there were between each full moon. The paintings really blew me away, but even weeks after we've left this place, I'm left in awe of this canyon and the power of the silence that existed here. That was so incredible. The canyon itself is worth walking around, but the paintings are so amazing. And going with Salvador and learning about their meetings and stuff. Wow. We're doing the tour in Spanish just to practice, but he speaks English also. Um, so I'll put his details below. You guys can contact him on WhatsApp. Headed back to the ranch to have some lunch. 
Oh, Sarvan. It's very dry here, drier than anywhere else we've been so far. So although it's hot, it doesn't feel very hot. But it's stunning, it's so magical. We left the canyon and headed back to town where we stopped at the Mission Santa Rosalia de Mulegé. It's a small mission church located on the edge of town. The church itself was closed, but as you walk behind the building, you find a path that leads to a small mirador, or lookout point. From here, you get the best view of the town and the Rio de Santa Rosalia. Salvador, our tour guide, told us an interesting story about the palm trees that line this river. Before the arrival of the Jesuits, there were no palm trees here. They aren't native to this region of Mexico. However, the Jesuits brought dates with them to eat and to also feed their horses and mules. They then led their animals to the river to drink, where they eventually digested and got rid of the seeds from these dates. Over the decades or so that the mission was occupied by the Jesuits, the Dominicans, the Franciscans, the date seeds grew into this stunning paradise of palms that you see now. After the tour, we headed into town to reward our day of hiking with a cold craft beer. Despite being an incredibly small town, Mulahe actually has its own locally run craft brewery. <laughs> Since we arrived in Mulahe yesterday and we drove in, um, looking at all the palm trees. I think we've both been a little like enchanted by it. It's so beautiful here. It's so different than the other places that we've seen along the way. And um, obviously going to see the paintings was incredible and, and hanging out with Salvador. But even going going to the craft beer bar and, and walking around the town and seeing the, the Mission has been so cool. Like it's just been such a fun experience here. And I see why people stick around in this this part of this part of Baja. Like it's I don't know. It's it's different than the other places. I think with the the river here, even though it looks like we're sitting literally in a mud puddle. <laughs> it's I don't know. It's got something about it that that other places haven't had along this road. And it's so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mulegé was just incredible. It really stole our hearts. I miss it already. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. In the description, I have added uh, Salvador's phone number so you can contact him via WhatsApp, as well as the link to Clementine's where we stayed, so you can check that out as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.